Welcome to the updated version of the mask expression for Adobe After Effects. It works exactly like the legacy mask expression. Start by creating a new layer, which should be named Mask. Then add a mask to this solid layer. Typically, it's named Mask 1 by default. Ensure that the layer is ultimately named Mask and the mask is Mask 1. This setup is essential as this mask will be used to transform other layers. Next, we'll create a layer that is going to react to mask. You can apply the mask expression to any property. For our example, we'll focus on the scale property. Add a first keyframe to indicate the layer's scale outside of the mask. Then, add a second keyframe for its scale inside the mask. In our demonstration, the layer scales to 160% outside the mask and reduces to 30% inside. Now, let's take the expression that's been provided and apply it to our property. Once you copy and paste the expression, you'll notice how the layer starts responding to the mask, both inside and outside of it. This is where the magic of mask expressions really comes to life. Next, we'll explore the feather property of the mask. By adjusting the feather setting, we introduce a sort of fall-off effect. This creates a smoother transition, allowing us to see the gradual interpolation as the layer moves closer to or further away from the mask edge. Now, let's take our exploration a step further by duplicating the layer. This will demonstrate how the mask expression operates across multiple instances. For efficiency, I'm using a custom script to duplicate these layers quickly. Observe how each duplicated layer reacts in sync with the mask. It's fascinating to see their uniform response. You can experiment with the mask by modifying its points and shape. As you do so, notice how the layers adjust dynamically to these changes, showcasing the versatility of the mask expression. Up to now, we've been working with straight paths, but the beauty of the new mask expression is its compatibility with Bezier curve paths. To illustrate this, I'll create a circular path on our mask layer. Just like the legacy mask expression, this new version is also effective with open paths. Again, highlighting the capabilities of the new mask expression, it's important to note its compatibility not just with straight paths, but also with Bezier curves. This feature allows for more complex and creative path designs. You'll see how it effectively responds and behaves in accordance with the intricacies of these curved paths. Furthermore, you can add multiple points to your open path. The mask expression will continue to work effectively, accommodating these additional points and offering even more creative control in your compositions. Just like with the legacy mask expression, you have the flexibility to link your layers to a null object. This technique offers a dynamic way to control the interaction between your layers and the mask. When you attach the layers to a null, their positions in the composition adjust in relation to the mask, ensuring they react precisely according to their proximity to the mask. Watch as I move the null layer around the composition. You'll notice how the layers respond dynamically to the distance from the mask. This interaction highlights the responsiveness of the mask expression, allowing for a fluid and cohesive movement within your project. This method not only simplifies the management of multiple layers, but also opens up a realm of creative possibilities. By manipulating the null layer, you can orchestrate complex animations where every element maintains a consistent and accurate relationship to the mask's position. The new version of the mask expression includes the capability for the mask to inherit, transform properties from the layer, simplifying animation and allowing the use of an object layer as an effector. If you're looking to apply the mask expression across multiple properties, a good practice is to use time remapping. This approach helps minimize redundant calculations and keeps your workflow efficient. Take this layer, for example, where we plan to animate both the scale and color properties. The first step is to pre-compose this layer. Then, we'll crop the composition of the pre-composition to the region of interest. This step is a useful tip to cut down on extra calculations. Next, add the time remapping property to the pre-composition. 
make sure to insert a second keyframe in the time remapping at the exact moment corresponding to the second keyframes inside the pre-composition. This alignment is key for the effect to work seamlessly. Now, all that's left to do is to paste the mask expression onto the time remapping property. The expression will interpret the first keyframe as the state outside the mask and the second keyframe as the state inside the mask, just as it usually works. Let's see this setup in action. Notice how the expression smoothly handles changes in both scale and color, demonstrating the versatility and power of the mask expression in After Effects. A project file is available for download, with the new version already set up, so you can start testing it out immediately. As a bonus, it also includes three other unique versions for you to explore. Thank you for watching.